Hi everybody, Sual Pozel here. In this video, I would like to show you how to use the base plate support option in additive manufacturing. Here we have a design that is made up of two bodies. The first body is the fusion icon, and the second body is the, the puck that surrounds the fusion icon. So let's say we want to print this. We go to manufacture, the additive tab, and create a new setup. In this new setup, I will only choose the puck, leaving the fusion icon out. I'll choose a machine. Let's go with a metal machine. And I'll choose a relatively large machine so we can see the differences in the settings for the support type we're looking at. The part is on the build platform, lifted from the platform by roughly three millimeters. What we want to do is move it up slightly more so we can actually visualize the differences to our support structure settings. The support type I will add is a base plate support. Let's go ahead and select it. Choose our body. I will show you all the options we have in the general tab. The first one is the offset. The second one is the height and the third one is the fill inner contour. Let's start with the offset. Let's say I have a 10 millimeter offset and a 2.5 millimeter height. What the offset does is it looks at the geometry's outer bounds and bumps it out by the offset value to give you a base plate that is bigger than the object that you are printing. You can of course make it smaller or you could make it zero. If I make it zero, it will be as the support structure will be as big as the shadow of the object. The next one is the thickness. So to visualize the thickness, we will zoom into this view and currently it is 2.5 millimeters, which is roughly the same thickness as the object we're printing. But if, I, if we needed to make it smaller or larger, we can make that change right here. So for this example, I'll just make it 10 just to visualize it and you can see a much larger support structure here. And the final change that we will show is the inner contour visualization. As you can see, we have the Fusion logo here is cut out. However, in the, the base plate support, it is a uh, support structure that is uh, fully enclosing that region. But if you wanted to project the Fusion logo down, all we had to do is say, do not fill the inner contour. So we change that to a no and hit OK. And now the support structure, as you can see, is emitting that zone and not building supports where it, uh, base plate supports where it doesn't need it. Now, there is one thing to uh, be cognizant of here is that if I change the offset, let's say I make it two millimeters, the offset offsets the supports away from the parts in all directions, including the inner contour. So right now we don't see any blue objects, but uh, after regenerating the base plate support, you can see the offset of two millimeters outside the part, as well as towards the inner contour. So if you are using a large offset, such as in this case, maybe 10, even though you said no to your inner contour, the inner contour could be created because of the offset. So here, let's test this out. And that's exactly what happens. We go 10 millimeters in all directions, completely closing this. So be aware of that. And um, if you don't want the inner contour, try to keep your offset to a reasonable number so that um, your inner contour is not filled with supports. So that number for this one is probably roughly four millimeters. If I hit OK, you're going to well, you're going to start seeing the close, closing of the offset. Thanks for watching. In this video, we covered all the options uh, related to the base plate support. Stay tuned for other videos that will talk about other support structures in fusion additive manufacturing.